Wall Street's rallies overnight brought a positive lead to Asian markets Wednesday. Dow and S&P 500 surged and Nasdaq was buoyed by signs of improved semiconductor market. Asian markets closed mixed on Tuesday and energy shares in the region rose after the price of crude oil rebounded above $81 U.S. a barrel. Hang Sen index advanced 0.3% and Japan's Nikkei fell nearly 0.5% due to stronger yen against euro. China's Shanghai Composite lost 0.7% but the cost gained 0.6%. With company news, Toshiba will begin construction of an additional flash memory manufacturing facility at its plant in central Japan this July. This is following recovery of market penetration of smartphones and other new gadgets. The company recognizes that now is the right time for a new fabrication facility. Yesterday, Toshiba shares strongly gained on news that the company will jointly develop a next-generation nuclear reactor with terror power controlled by Microsoft chairman Bill Gates. Bank of China and Singapore's sovereign wealth fund Temasek Holdings plans to set up a rural banking joint venture in China to provide loans to China's rural population. Bank of China posted a bigger than expected 26% rise in 2009 net profit due to a surge in loans amid China's stimulus-led economic rebound. However, it is expected to slow down the lending pace this year. A unit of Singapore-based Keppel Corporation has won a 62 million euro contract to build a floating platform that will be used to erect a wind farm off the German coast. Keppel Dutch will, use, will partner with German unit of French Energy Arriva to build a mobile offshore application barge with the completion scheduled for the fourth quarter of 2011. BG Group PLC and China National Offshore Oil plan to sign a sale and purchase agreement for liquefied natural gas from Australia Wednesday. The deal could be worth as much as $80 billion Australian and as part of the deal, the Chinese group will buy a 10% stake in one of the two LNG trains that BG plans to construct for the project. For March 24th, that's your Asian Market Report.